Greetings YouTube. This is a pretty pivotal video for those of you who have a different arena strategy than I do when ramping up your six star teams, especially if you aren't somebody who has the roster that I do, which is not most people because I've spent over $16,000 on this game. I'm sure by the time the end of the year hits, I'll probably be spending close to $20,000 on this game. I don't have $20,000 to spend on my own. This is YouTube money that I get to pour right back into the game to make more content, to connect more with my subscribers. It's, I don't want to say it's an excuse, it's a justification to spend thousands of dollars on this casino of a game. But a lot of people don't have the funds or the justification to do that, and so Instead of having, say, 30 rank 3 6 stars, they might have 5 rank 3s. Uh, and so, in order to avoid using their 6 star rosters uh, too quickly, as far as, like, the best champions, because I still think when we talk about the 6 star featured arena and the 6 star basic arena, and you can see... I'm up to a win streak of 102 and 91 in both. Uh, it's important to save your best champions for the guaranteed death matches, which are typically between rounds 10 through 15. That's where you'll fight rank 3 and now rank 4 6 stars traditionally. Well, that is true until this week. Now, I want to say again, I haven't seen this on my end because I save and I have a big enough roster, my best six stars and then eventually five stars either my rank five five stars or my rank three and even rank two six stars for rounds uh, i start in six star feature and i do all my six stars after the win streak the best multiplier you get of three of a win streak of five so from a win streak of six to 20 and the six star feature i use all my best six stars and that gets me past the win streak of 15 and still i have rank two six stars left over which is pretty exciting for an arena nerd like me and then i save all my 565 five stars for the death round starting at a win streak of five and there and that hasn't caused me any problems yes it's annoying sometimes to fight uh penny parkers and Korgs and medusas and apocalypse with the cable synergy continues to be an annoying synergy team to fight because you can't parry apocalypse and he can easily stun you uh but i digress uh but for those of you who are used to running the uh, team of one of your best six stars with two of your rank one six stars, which traditionally hasn't been a problem, Kabam might have tweaked the algorithm, especially if you're doing that after a win streak of five. Let me explain and show you one of the submissions that I've received since the new arenas started on Thursday. So, this is Granddaddy O. He has taken one of his best six stars, Aegon, and paired him with uh, Proxima Midnight for, I'm guessing, maybe synergy purposes. And then the champion, who's just kind of there. I don't know. Maybe it's a synergy purpose as well. Uh, he said until this weekend, he had never had this trigger anything besides a similar uh, defender series but when i hide my webcam here you can see and i'll just hide it for the duration of the next couple of images you can see he drew a all hard team with ratings uh his rating is 47,650 it's 68,470 and 277,249 shout out to mrk jr and the witcher and omnivore 85 so when he pulled up his team which he has counted on since this new arena came into the game, what, about a year ago? He pulled up a Guillotine 2099, Apocalypse, and Hercules. One Rank 3 Guillotine 2099, and then Rank 4 Apocalypse and Hercules. He won the Hercules fight with his Rank 3 Aegon, but lost the other two and lost his win streak of 7. Now... Personally, I probably would have paired Proxima Midnight against Guillotine 2099 uh, 20, and just sacrificed the champion if I knew that it was going to be a tough fight. Because I think out of those three fights, Apocalypse is the toughest fight on paper. But still, this could be a game changer for this strategy. And I'm not here as I bring my webcam back to look into the camera and say, just choose all your rank threes, because maybe he only has a few rank three six stars. And so he can't say, you know, I'm going to use all rank three six stars 
for rounds six or seven through 15 because he doesn't have that many. And, and it still takes a lot of rank up resources to take a six star up to rank three. Nevertheless, what people are trying to do now at rank four. So this, this could be an arena game changer going forward. Be weary of that. Uh, Granddaddy-o, I'm sorry this happened to you, but I know you wanted to get this information out to the community. For those of you that try the traditional one rank three and two rank ones or a rank five, 65, five star in the Proxima Midnight case. Uh, it's just a, it's a changing algorithm with more rank four, six stars out there. I'm not saying it's guaranteed to happen, but it could happen. And every time it does, it's my job on this channel to deliver the information so you don't get stuck with a death match fight in a position that you were not prepared for. And in this case, it cost him his streak. So that's the information. If you've run into any other uh, new bad matchups with a specific set of champions that you're used to running in the arena, please put them in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great weekend.